Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, default and private methods in interface. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the basic concept of interface. Please watch the class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, in interfaces, we can use private methods and default methods. So what is default method, why they implemented, why they are allowed to use default methods in interfaces. First understand the concept, why they are allowed to use de default methods in interfaces. Then we will take an example and uh, how we define the default methods and all those things. So let us assume that we defined an interface A. In this interface we are having two methods, void m1 of, void m2 of. So these two are abstract methods. We discussed it previously in our previous class. So in this in this interface, we are having two methods m1 and m2, which are abstract methods, means we don't define the body of that method. Now assume that class B implements A, means class B is implementing A. See now class B has to define the body of m1 method and m2 method. We did not define the body here. So, our intention is not to write the body to understand the concept. So, class B implemented M1 method and M2 method. Similarly, class C implements A. So, this class C should implement M1 method, M2 method. This class B should implement M1 method, M2 method. It writes its own logic for M1, M2. This class will write its own, lo own logic for M1 and M2. Both the logics are different for class B and class C. So you understand up to the, up to here. This is the basics for interfaces. Suppose assume a situation like uh, after six months, after some time, after six months, if you want to add some extra logic to interface A, assume that that logic should be placed in a method with name called as a m5 of. If you write void m5 of. Uh, it is an abstract method. Now these two classes will not be used. Cannot We cannot use these two classes because uh, these two classes implemented only M1 and M2 method. If they did not implement M5 method. If it is an abstract method, definitely M5 should be implemented here. And assume a situation like this. Class B needs the logic of M5 means this method. Class B needs M5 method but class C they did not want to need, it don't need M5 method. What happens in that situation? If you write it as void M5 of, means it's an abstract method. Definitely class B has to implement M5 method, class C has to implement M5 method. So in these situations, in these situations, we go with the default methods. So the situation you need to understand after, after a few days after after some time after six months if you add another logic to the interface go with default methods because already this interface is used by so many classes if you add an extra logic here every class has to use that it has to implement that logic it may be needed or not needed we don't know in order to go these type of situations they they implemented default methods, default M5 of. Don't write anything. You write it here, don't write. If this method wants to use this M5 method, it will write its own logic here. Means it is method overriding. It is allowed. If this method, if this class don't need M5 method, it is not going to imp imp implement that because it is a default method, not an abstract method. That's why that's why default methods are uh, the default methods are used in interfaces, and we can use the private methods also. With example, we are going to understand. Let's take an interface A. In this, we are having a static method. Interfaces can have static methods and static constants. We had void m1 of. It is an abstract method. We can have default method. You can write the logic, or you don't need to write the logic. It's up to you according to the situation we have to go with. So in this in this we have written a logic system that ordered to Intel now this is default method and we are going to write 
private methods also private void m6 of uh, we can use this private methods in default methods because uh, in our last classes when we discussed about access specifiers private methods can be accessed only in that class similarly private methods can be accessed only in this interface in this interface we can use means uh, other methods which we got here is a default method it can use m6 method because it is a it is a private method we can use only in this interface suppose if you try to use this m6 method here class b implements a if you try to use m6 method it is not allowed because it is a private method means it is giving a chance means with private methods it is giving a chance to hide some of the methods for hierarchy means for inheritance don't allow these methods for inherited objects inherited classes to hide some of the methods in that way we can use these private methods so m6 can be used here in the default methods in this interface we can use m6 method that is the point you need to understand so hope this is this is how we can use default methods and private methods remaining concept is very very same as usual we created class b implements a whether it is using default method or not it can implement default method or not it's up to this this class interest if it if it is implemented default method means you have to write it as void m5 of and write your own logic means now it comes to the concept of method overriding now this this logic is going to be executed so same way next class test public static void you can create the object and you can use all the methods that you implemented m1 m1 is a accessor m5 means default methods also accessor from the object but private methods cannot so these are the concepts you need to understand from a interfaces hope you understand this class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you